For my brothers never had an ear to hear him. These the bricks for our sisters help us build it. If I could be a black fly on the wall, I can hear and see it all and have the mind of a god. Black, 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 black. Fly, 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 fly. Black, black, black. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Black Fly on the Wall. I'm your host, Jessica O'Creasy, and before my guests introduce themselves, please like, share, and comment on today's episode. Um, ladies, would you like to go ahead and introduce yourselves? Yes, I will. So my name is Micah Barbie. I am from Durham. The, you know, like you said, revolutionary. The method, okay. Revolutionary. The renaissance. The renaissance. Okay. Word. Durham, North Carolina. <laughs> um, and I currently reside in Charlotte and I own an IV hydration and wellness company. And I'm just really glad to be here to exchange thoughts and words about today's topic. Yeah. These mm. lovely ladies. <laughs> All right. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Sabrina Seymour. I am from Fayetteville, North Carolina, currently residing in Hillsboro, North Carolina. My husband, two kids. Um, I have several businesses, but um, I will speak of three, which is Sabrina Seymour Events, Wedding Event Planning, my Pilates Studio, Prevailing Pilates, and also my women's brand, The Prevailing Woman. Happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Yes, absolutely. Hey. Um, I am Sharonda Arnold Ocean. I am. I currently live in Durham, North Carolina, and Louisville, Kentucky. My husband and I own a mental health agency, um, and I also have my personal brand, Sharonda Arnold Ocean. And you better love your damn self. That's online, yeah. and I am committed to helping us women, myself, um, see ourselves properly, whole, perfect, and complete, lacking nothing. Mm. So, mm. That's what I do. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I'm already getting the word. Did, right? um, oh, thank you, God. ladies, for being here today. Um, it's always almost kind of even like we were saying. It's yeah. like a it's a therapy session. It's a way that you know mm -hmm. to connect with women. And so this episode is always near and dear to my heart. Yeah. Um, I have women to let me know there's food in my teeth if my hair is off because <laughs> the guys do not do that. Okay. I swear they're like the worst. Yes. But the title <laughs> of this episode is "Can You Really?" have it all yeah and so first i want us to go around and, and define what all is for us individually because i do think it is an individualized thing mm -hmm. and so to for the watchers to have context like let's go around and say what all is and we'll go clockwise this time mm. having it all for me is not necessarily just arriving at a specific place but having it all for me is having the mindset, the inspiration, the mental health to be able to move in a direction towards having whatever my all is. Mm. So it's really just about the mindset for me, feeling healthy enough to move towards having it all. Right. Because when you feel good, you can do good, great things. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Good, <laughs> and you know, good, when, you, when you down, you can too. But when you feel good, when you you when your mindset is stable, when you feel healthy mentally, physically, emotionally, you can really position your brain and your mind to to pursue everything that's mm. in your heart. I love that. So that's what it's about for me. And my answer is it's pretty similar, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like you know just because we're in like therapeutic times where everyone is, yeah. you know, all about mind, body, and soul, which I am. Um, but I, I think having it all also means to be in a really great financial state. Mm. That Mind, part. Mindset. <laughs> um, that part, I mean, yes. literally, when I pay all my bills and I still have money in my I feel like I can take over the world. Yes. Like, the entire world. Yes. Um, and, again, I think the, the, the mindset you know, the physical wellness, all those things being intact are more important than the financial stability of it all. But I do feel like you could just move a little bit more yeah. like, you, like yeah. you got it. I mean, and then when you have the, <laughs> when the money is there. Yeah. The bottom, uh, yeah. So I'm just not, I'm not going to yeah. negate and put that at the bottom <laughs> right. of it because yeah. it's, it's real yeah. neck and neck with my right. wellness. Listen, right. You can't even That's really right. afford good wellness okay. without the financial without the stability. Um, yeah. So money is important to yeah, me. it is. Absolutely. What it exactly. I mean, money ain't everything, but it sure don't rank, it okay. sure rank up there with oxygen. Yeah. That's right. what they say. It's a little close. Sorry. A lot close. Yes, my 
money am I? Yes. Period. <laughs> so I didn't, I realized I did not say I, that I am a nurse and mm-hmm. um, I yeah. do own a med spa wellness center. We're in a little rebrand transition. Mm-hmm. Um, so a lot of times I also focus on health and wellness and like just the beauty and confidence um, of other people. And so when I think of can we have it all? Yeah. Um, absolutely. I feel like having it all does look different for, you know, it's mm-hmm. in the, you know, to whatever that individual is. Yeah. And when I think of it, um, I kind of think of it as like a trifecta. Like, so it's kind of like a triangle. So, you know, for me, it's my mental health, mm-hmm. my spiritual health, and my physical. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like as long as those are all fulfilled and aligned, um, I can do whatever I want to do. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. For me, it's being able to prioritize things how I want to, right? Right now, I got to go to work. And I would rather be doing content or, mm. I, you know, my look, my nephew has a game. It's like, are you, you know, is this the only amount of time, especially during the daylight savings time where you can do the content? You know, what yeah. have you? It's just it's a lot. So I want to be able to say today, this is how my schedule is going to go. Right. Yeah. Because I know, you know, I know I'm going to get married. I know I'm going to have kids. I know I'm going to be successful, but I want to put these things in order every single day or, you know, weekly or monthly, how I want them in order and not mm-hmm. how somebody else is telling mm-hmm. me to put them in order. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's Sounds right. Good. I, You know, I agree. I agree with you with that. Um, being able to do what it is that you want to do and not be limited by having to be required to do something else. Right. Right. So, yeah, that is part of having it all, too. Like mm-hmm. having it all for me also is being able to do and go where I want to go, when I want to go, being able to purchase things that I want to purchase mm-hmm. without having to say, hold on, wait a minute. Yeah. Let me look in this. Absolutely. You know, let Absolutely. me look in at, at, at the register. Check yeah. your <laughs> card. Yeah. 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 But I'm glad you even mentioned finances because yeah. I feel like sometimes they try to make it seem like, oh, money, money isn't and everything. everything. No, no. I don't feel like that. Yeah. Mental all out of tap when the money ain't there. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That's our security. As women, that is really where we have yeah. security. And so, yeah. yes, money is important. Yeah. We all are here to make money yeah. and to get to a point where it doesn't matter how, you know, what we're buying and what we're doing because yeah. we already know it's mm-hmm. in the bank. That's yeah. right. Exactly. That's Amen. right. Absolutely. That's yeah. right. And yeah. I hope, like me saying, like, like, mental health is very important to me naturally because, I mean, just a woman, just a person, but mm-hmm. also understanding having a profession where I'm a therapist, like, yeah. mental health comes first because I know what it's like to feel low. Yeah. And none of, me, me being, don't get me wrong. When, when you feel low and you have money, I can get, you know, those moments I can get on a plane and go somewhere and get some relaxation. But I know how hard it is when you when your mental health is, is mm-hmm. wavering and you have money. You just really want mm-hmm. to feel good, yeah. you know. And yeah. so yeah. that's what I mean when I say having it all, because when when you when I have when when my mental health is stable. I can I feel like I can do any anything, but mm-hmm. I'm able to do anything because the financial piece is there, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. And I mean, so. I think so kind of to your point, like what do we do if one of our alls is not in order? Like how do we bounce back? What are some strategies that you use? How do we make it so we see this falling off and we gotta catch it back up? Like what do you do? Cause mm-hmm. so for me, I feel like, you know, when we talk about having it all, you also have to really not ignore sacrifice you know mm-hmm. you have to make sacrifices mm-hmm. sometimes in order to have it all and doing the things that you don't want to do in order to get what you need mm-hmm. um to fulfill you know your financial goals mm-hmm. to fulfill like your mental health so i feel like i don't know if that answered your question no, it is. <laughs> but i feel like yeah. sacrifice is something that people you know overlooked because we don't talk about it on the social yeah. medias. Mm-hmm. We don't talk about like, okay, how we got here we got when here. we, we were broke, you know, yeah. like, so mm-hmm. that those are the things that I think, you know, are really important in order to get to that next level when it's not all like connecting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that. Sacrifices mm-hmm. is a big thing. Yeah. And I will yeah. also say that, um, one of the biggest things that I think I've learned probably in the last like three years and really this past year mm-hmm. is being okay that if you have, three pillars, you know, Mm -hmm. um, that you prioritize that more than likely, if you focus on one of them, then something else is going to get left. That's true. Um, and I think a lot of times, let's just say finances are off. Okay. Well, nine times out of 10, my finances are off because I made some bad 
choices. So let mm-hmm. me focus on my mental mm-hmm. state. Physical, I feel like should never be lacking, but that's, that's just <laughs> easy for you to say. You know, <laughs> Miss Pilates, um, Pilates Studio, Miss Fresh But Black anyway, Pilates 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 if we're just going to go into, like, the mental side, it's like a lot of times when you're grinding, you know, you're working hard, your physical might, you know, fall right. off. Mm-hmm. Um, and so then clothes not fit in the right way. So then what does that mean? I need to slow down my work schedule. Mm-hmm. So that means money's going to slow down mm-hmm. and focus on my physical. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling sad. I got all the money. I look good, but I don't feel right. So let me take a step back from the scene. Let me get right. quiet mm-hmm. and focus on me. Get so quiet. it's like always just mm-hmm. knowing that very rarely do all of our principles and priorities of life line up at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But just knowing that it's back there. Like, mm-hmm. I need to come back mm-hmm. to it, but mm-hmm. I just need to focus on this one thing that's lacking right. in, in that moment. Or yeah. two things or whatever right. it looks like. And I think for me, that has probably given me the mindset that I can have it all because I know that I can't do it all at one time. Mm-hmm. I can have it all, mm-hmm. but just, you know, sometimes I need to put it on the back corner for like 30 days. Right. Mm-hmm. Maybe so, even a year, okay. you know, whatever it looks yeah. like. Right. I mean, I think I say all the time, you know, what's for me is never going to pass me by. Right. You know, mm-hmm. I'm always on time for what is for me, right? Yeah. So, yeah, there are going to be times, and I'm so happy you said that, where it, there are going to be some things lacking. Like, we can't, just mm-hmm. have the highlight reel and say, mm-hmm. oh, it's always great. And it's always it's like, it's yeah. not like that. And so just knowing that you can get back to it. I know mm-hmm. for a fact I need to focus on my health yeah. right now because if I don't, then the other stuff will start to lack too. Mm-hmm. So it's like, okay, but I know I'm going to get back to it. And so yeah. you just always have a check and balance. And you're right. not... Um, like me, uh, monthly, weekly, you know, whatever to like check in with yourself. If you three week or three yeah. months or six months or you know whatever that you need yeah. to make sure you're always checking in and saying okay well I really focus on this let me get this back in yeah, or right. so you can mm-hmm. kind of catch up a little bit mm-hmm. yeah I think for me it's prioritizing myself and having great intentionality right mm-hmm. and so many times what I do I'm on a power 21 right now where I focus like on my spiritual mental and physical health like right. for 21 days straight with intentionality I wake up with a morning routine and what I've recognized is that in having a morning routine and pouring into myself um, at the top of the morning and then being present throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Like if I have like an hour that I'm focusing on specifically like finances, Mm -hmm. three hours where I'm focusing Mm -hmm. focusing specifically on work, like like if I'm Mm -hmm. present, right, I I see how I can bring myself back into alignment because I focused on myself and poured into myself in the morning and I have this goal of being Mm -hmm. intentional and present throughout the day. Right. Right. And so I, I, I recognize like sometimes when I feel like I'm out of work, where, mm-hmm. where you know, I'm not being present, like, where I am. Mm-hmm. Whether that's with my kids, like, I'm thinking about something else. So, yeah. it, it's, you You really got to work to be present because mm-hmm. life is happening so fast, no, right? That's true. Like, mm-hmm. like, when you have, to your point, so you have your all, and this is what my all mm-hmm. looks like. So, when something comes in that is mm-hmm. not part of the all, mm-hmm. then you said, no, like, I can't do that right mm-hmm. now. I have to, so I like how you, you intentionally say, for these three hours, because even if one of your alls is mental health, yes. and then you and you're not so focused on what, well, but what about this? Well, what about that? Because you mm-hmm. know for a fact during this time frame, I'm focusing yeah. on this, and that's it. And so then the mm-hmm. next time frame, so you help to structure your life. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. No, I had um. So my life coach, because I I as a new entrepreneur, yeah. I and I say new, it's two years, but like I this wasn't like I told you, this wasn't my five year plan. So yeah. I kind of like just went where God led me, yeah. um, without like having this like proper layout and foundation of like how I'm going to do this and what's to come. So when that happens, you know, you kind of feel like for me, my life, I feel like can be all over the place. Mm -hmm. Like I'm saying yes to all these things. I'm trying to show up for everything. Mm -hmm. And I have not, and I'm still working on it, master um, organizing, you know, Mm -hmm. my thoughts, not even Mm -hmm. my actions, just my thoughts. And so things get like left behind. And so what me and my life coach kind of came up with is like we created these parking spaces oh. um, where, you know, you have like lot A, lot B, mm-hmm. you know, what are all the things you need to put in this lot to, yes. you know, keep yourself, you know, organized and then come back to it, you know, highlight mm-hmm. or prioritize. And so I lit, I mean, to the point where like this lot is not just in my head, it's on Canva. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. like, I have it color coordinated it on Canva and I have to down. check in to just like make sure that mm-hmm. I didn't forget these thoughts because, yeah, we can say we want to do X, Y, and Z, mm-hmm. but, you know, you have your personal life Mm -hmm. where you cannot control like a lot of the things in it and so just like 
how can this fit in? And so I think it's just really important in order to have it all is really being, like you said, intentional yeah. and organizing um, your daily life, your structure, mm-hmm. your goals, especially Absolutely. when it's like, this is not really what you were planning to do. Yeah. Um, you just kind of got to like pivot and make shift and get mm-hmm. flexible, you know, oh, turn yeah. yourself into a little Play-Doh so yeah. you can kind of <laughs> mold, right. you know, into right. like what it is that you're yeah. supposed to, mm-hmm. you know, be doing. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's Absolutely. a good yeah. characteristic of femininity, like being fluid mm-hmm. and being flexible mm-hmm. and not being so structured because yeah. like you might have missed what was for you the whole entire time mm-hmm. by saying, but no, that wasn't part of my five-year plan. Yep. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So it's like, you definitely have to, even inside of now this new business and you think, well, I'm going where I was led. Shouldn't everything be okay? Shouldn't mm-hmm. everything work out? Is exactly. yeah, It's not how it works. <laughs> yeah. Like you just said at the beginning, I have a rebranding going on. It's only been two years, but okay. like, mm-hmm. if you just like, said, well, it's only going to be like this, mm-hmm. it's only going to be like that, then you don't know where you, the growth really lies. Yeah. 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 That's good right there. Okay. That's good. <laughs> you don't know where the growth really lies, baby. If you're but not open to being flexible exactly, and not committed exactly. to one way, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's where faith also kind of comes in. Like, mm-hmm. if you are truly, I think we're all believers, like, mm-hmm. if you truly believe and trust in God, then you just have to kind of, like, go and yeah. you know you just have to do it and yeah. so I think sometimes we're like waiting for like this exact confirmation to say what it is when it's just like no like just go out here and do yeah. it and he will provide you know that's right so, honey. and yeah. he'll put people in your life that mm-hmm. will encourage you that I remember one time you. I had yeah. asked Sabrina I was like yo like cause she just does everything Bad. right mm-hmm. like and she does I'm everything trying to be over here <laughs> quiet cause I'm like she <laughs> y'all wanna talk about somebody doing something not in your five <laughs> year plan <laughs> One day I was like, yo, like, how do you like keep going? Like, mm-hmm. and it was so simple what she said. She said, I just don't quit. Yes. I was like, what? Well, Sabrina expounded upon that for I us. Don't yes. quit. Yes. Like, we I was like, I'm I just don't quit. Yeah. And I was like, yo, is that simple? <laughs> I just don't simple. quit. Like, go ahead. No. I mean, and that speaks to how sometimes we overcomplicate yeah. life. Yes. Yeah. And she just yeah. said, just Literally. don't quit. Like, Literally. that's it. Like, I'm okay. not an over... I don't overthink. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm yeah. a pretty, like... You're going to usually catch me in the same, like, <laughs> very laid back. I had an event yesterday... All my client, her team, her little committee, they were going crazy. And I'm thinking, I'm looking around. I'm like, it's like 75 people here. I've done events with thousands of people in the room. <laughs> they were going okay, crazy. Yes. It was their first event. Yes. They were so excited. Yeah. And she was like, you're just so calm. Yes. And I really wanted to be like, girl... <laughs> 75 people. I could be here by myself, but hey, you know, I'm just like, well, you know, that's, I'm the calm. I try to bring the calm in the room, like yes. how to keep it, you know, everything is organized and whatever is supposed to happen has happened. And I have the same kind of outlook on life. Yeah. And, um, it's been like this week alone, like in Sharana knows I'm not an emotional person at all, <laughs> like period. <laughs> but this week I've been like super emotional just thinking about, um, the transitions that I'm making professionally. Yeah. Um, because I've been a wedding planner for 12 years. And so when I, I've been in the wellness industry, like tiptoeing, like behind the scenes, like I always showed my workout, yeah. mm-hmm. but I just left it there. That was and your it. your workout cl- clothes closet. Yes, the whole, the whole situation. And the monthly yeah. planner. All those things, <laughs> yes. you know, but I was just doing that because that was just who I was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so when I decided that I really wanted to get serious about Pilates, I was scared. Mm-hmm. I'm never scared. I was mm-hmm. so scared about that. Because I was yeah. just like, here I go with another idea. <laughs> My poor husband. Tired. He got all the ideas. Can't do nothing because I got oh, all the God. ideas. And I'm just like, I didn't know how I was going to be received. And yeah. so then for me to turn around and here we go again. It's okay. <laughs> to um, finally, like, get a space. Like, I have a whole Pilates yes. studio. It's exactly. the first black-owned studio. First black-owned. Right? Black yes. And yes. some yes. of the opportunities yes. that I wish I could talk about right now, mm-hmm. but I can't, mm-hmm. um, that are that have been landed, I just didn't expect for it to happen yeah. the way that it's been going. Right. Yeah. Um, I've only been open since September. I've only had my reformers for, like, a month. I already have wait lists yeah. for wow. class. Um, you know, I just had an Hold event on. with Fabletics. Hold on, you gotta. I need a slot. <laughs> <laughs> I need a slot. I don't I know, know what you need. I know what it is. If I should bring my own reformer, yeah. but I need a slot. 
<laughs> it's just been like crazy just how the growth, like how well people are responding to mm-hmm. it. Because again, I didn't think that anyone would see me outside being a wedding planner. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so just to be in this position and then also like being an entrepreneur is hard mm-hmm. and it's a lot right. of adjustments. Yeah. It's a lot of financial mm. sacrifices and mm. to finally be in a place where yeah. like, like I, that's why I just, that's why I'm like, y'all gonna hear me talk about money. Yes. Because <laughs> I was, I went through it <laughs> since I've been a wedding planner, yeah. you know, I have all the stories I've been, I have been sued. I have been, I've done all the things. Yeah. So to finally be in a place where yeah. like everything is paid for all the time, I can yes. set up auto drafts with no yes. stress. Yes. Like what? Yeah. <laughs> I never thought I was going to say, and it's because (laughs) it's literally because I finally walked into a space that I was hiding. Like a lot of people said that I needed to become some type of like trainer. I knew I didn't want to be a personal trainer. I hear the horror story. I'm like, it's like being a wedding planner, a personal trainer, in my opinion. Um, But to be in this position and just to see the growth in like 90 days is crazy. And I feel like it's super sustainable. Like I feel really good about it. So it's just been an emotional week. Like my husband was like, you you cry one more time. Like, like, and I am not a crier. I probably cry about two, three times a year. And I keep it moving. I'm a week. I cry every single day. Whether a tornado is coming, a hurricane, this is her all the time. felt at so like much ease mm-hmm. and peace yeah. and though I'm tired because mm-hmm. I work crazy hours mm-hmm. um I just feel like I've been able to bring something and it's a like the the women that come in my studio like we yeah. as women we hold a lot yes in. yes and sometimes I'll be like Lord Jesus when I'll be like how you doing I see it on their face I'll be like sometimes I walk in and be like let me just get straight to class because it's going to end up being a thir- therapy yeah. session for 30 minutes before class starts yeah. um but to be a safe space for women to come in because mm-hmm. I've been putting on events for women for about six years now but yeah. to actually have a physical space like I'm not mm-hmm. renting spaces like this is yeah. my space people yeah. say they come in there they feel like it's luxury they feel mm-hmm. like they're taken care That's of yes, it's a absolutely. great experience you know the music is what we want to hear mm-hmm. it's just I've, I'm just I'm happy Yeah. step into the vibrant world of culture boutique your go to fashion haven nestled at 518 East Trinity Avenue Durham North Carolina Culture offers a meticulously curated collection that seamlessly blends the latest fashion trends with a dash of cultural elegance. The racks showcase an array of styles from eye-catching prints that pop with color to timeless classics that exude sophistication. What sets Culture Boutique apart is their commitment to celebrating the culture through clothing. And at the helm of it all is the owner, Maurice, a fashion enthusiast with an unwavering passion for uniting cultures through style. But don't just take their word for it. Their satisfied customers attest to the unbeatable quality and variety they provide. Whether you're seeking a show-stopping outfit for a special occasion or simply wanting to refresh your everyday wardrobe, Culture Boutique is your destination. Join them at 518 East Trinity Avenue, Durham, North Carolina, and let them help you tell your unique story through fashion. Come and embrace diversity in style through Culture Boutique, where every outfit narrates a rich tale of culture and individuality. Visit their website at shopculture.online to explore their latest collections and start your fashion journey today. That, that's it. I'm yes. just, just happy. I mean, honestly, <laughs> you know, she deserved that. my example of somebody that has it all is literally you. I'm not saying yeah. that you are perfect. I don't think that at no. all. I don't Child. look at you and say, like, Google oh, it. she is. Yeah. Yes, out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, like, she got, you know, you got yeah. to, you go on vacation with your husband. You at the yes. kids' football game. Yes. Uh, you got all your businesses. And it's like, uh, I, I feel like I have this mindset where I'm like, I'm going to just try it. If it doesn't work, at least I know. Yeah. But like, I look at you and I'm like, I can tell. She just says, I'm going to try it. I'm going to do it. If it yeah. fails and, if, and then it fails, I just go on to the next thing. And I, just, I, yeah. I, I appreciate it. Very that. open. Like, I will tell people, like, it ain't work out. It, yeah. it didn't. And I yeah. tried it. People ask me, and I'll be like, don't do that. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. right. I wish I would have asked somebody. Or you ask people, and they don't give you straight answers. Yeah. 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 So I always want to be transparent with, with everyone about mm-hmm. the struggles and mm-hmm. all those things, yeah. especially mm-hmm. if I say that I'm servicing women. Right. You know, yeah. you yeah. have to be honest. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. 
Yes. So I think y'all both kind of uh, touched on it a we little bit, but like, what kind of sacrifices? <laughs> Please be comfortable. We are at the we in the living room. Okay. Right? <laughs> uh, what other sacrifices do y'all feel that you need to make to have it all? Or what sacrifices have you personally made to have it all, or in your pursuit uh, of having it all? Uh, oh. What? Um, oh, I well, I said, well, yeah. Okay. And I was your point because you said the pursuit, and I like that because, like, I, sometimes people feel like you have to yeah. arrive at some point, and I don't know if that's a real thing. Like, yeah. I feel like you should I always should, be I, striving, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even if you got a lot, like, why you yeah. can't get a little bit more? Like, I, mm-hmm. I feel like, mm-hmm. you know, it's an abundance mindset. Yeah. Like, if, you, if you're if you open for more, then you will receive more. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Girl, I like how you said girl, that. I got, I got something to say about that. Oh, go ahead. Well, okay, so I can talk about about both of those mm-hmm. so you know I am a single mom mm-hmm. and I don't have my son all the time but right now I have him on the weekend so with my type of business I do have nurses but I get really busy sometimes on the weekend so the nurses luckily can do it but sometimes it's opportunities where it's like only I can be there and so mm-hmm. that then takes away from the time with my son and so a lot of times with business I think you know People just think, oh, entrepreneur, flexible lifestyle, whatever. But it's just like I have to make a lot of sacrifices that Mm -hmm. I feel extremely guilty about. However, on the, you know, long term, it really is something that should and needs to happen. And I think we overthink it um, because I'm like, if you think about your childhood and how much you were left alone, you know, not saying I leave my child alone. (laughs) (laughs) How much much time your parents sacrificed working. I think, you know, we just like it's just a different culture now where, it, it isn't as acceptable. So I think we, like, I know I have, like, conditioned myself to feel guilty about, mm. like, any time yeah. taken away from my son, even if it's just yeah. even for self-care or personal um, because of the limited time that I have with him for now. So sacrifices are, I think, are important. I think we just guilt ourselves that, mm-hmm. you know, we shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then the back to you as far as, like, receiving. So I have, like, a recent testimony. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm not going to go yeah. into super detail with the rebrand. But, you know, I just had started my business two years ago. And um, I kind of said, okay, this is what we'll be doing for the next five years. But God mm-hmm. <laughs> had another plan. And um, yeah. it was just kind of like this whole year. I just kind of kept ignoring, I think, what he was mm-hmm. wanting me to do to the point where I could not ignore anymore. And I was mm-hmm. forced out of a space that I, you know, thought I would be in for a longer time. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I walked away from it scared, you know, yeah. like not really knowing what to Absolutely. do. I'm just going. But as soon as I walked away from that space, a whole nother door opened. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like I got denials for That's plenty so, of spaces, mm-hmm. yeah. like yeah. to move the business. Um, because like, you know, I don't have all this like, million dollar capital yeah. or whatever um but as soon as I walked away from a space that I didn't think that you know I would be walking away from the next week literally the next week I got approved we got wow. pre-approved um and then signed the lease for a new building wow. and so I just like use that as like you know wow like you know when you don't ignore um what God is calling for you to yeah. do you know just trust him that he's gonna open that door yeah. for you. he's gonna provide and give you those ideas yeah. and you shouldn't stop because I'm like oh my gosh like what do I need to do do I just mm-hmm. you know stay yeah. you know unhappy mm-hmm. and unhealthy in mm-hmm. this like environment um or do I, you know, move and grow? Yeah. And now he's like, you know, pouring into me yeah. the the finances, the mm-hmm. people, mm-hmm. Um, the opportunity, yeah. um, you know, that that's supposed to be yeah. for me. So I think, you know, we just got to cut yeah. off, you know, what we think is supposed to happen yeah. and trust, yeah. you know, what we can't see. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm you know, proud of you. Yeah, that's really amazing. Yeah, that's really amazing. Like, that's that's really amazing. Yeah. 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 Okay. But I'm, I'm so, proud of you. That's amazing. <laughs> you know, I think with anything in life, there is sacrifice. Yeah. Like, we sacrifice, like, four years of going to school, right, mm-hmm. so that we can arrive. And not, not that it always works out that way, but you're sacrificing four years of going to college so you can have something later. Like, I know with me and my husband, um, with our agency, we sacrificed a lot. For a long time, we we were um, living in Louisville, Kentucky, and in Durham. We had our children in 
daycare in Durham and in Louisville, oh, wow. Kentucky. And that just weirdly wasn't working for our family. So we had to make a sacrifice where he was in Louisville more and I was here. And um, as a result, it allowed our business to grow. It was mm. a sacrifice. He wasn't home with us every single night. And, yeah. and I had to sacrifice for this specific period of time. Right. And we had a cutoff or a deadline when, okay, <laughs> this this going to have to be a cutoff on this. <laughs> and, and the cutoff is here. And so yeah. he's home more versus, mm-hmm. you know, just flying out to Kentucky. He flies out to Kentucky, um, what, 48 hours a, a week, you know, and sometimes no, n- n- he's not flying out at all mm-hmm. a week. But I think with any um, goal that you have in life, there's going to be sacrifice, mm-hmm. you know. But you can find moments in that sacrifice to to have beautiful experiences. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be a full sacrifice where you're not enjoying life. You in, in the journey of sacrifice, there can still be so many moments where yes. you sit back and have these beautiful moments where you enjoy yourself, be present, do things, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of times when people think about sacrifice, they just think of, years of just hard and just struggle and Mm -hmm. just, you know, and it doesn't have to be like that because you have 24 hours in a day. There's still 24 hours for you to spend with your family and be very present. Mm -hmm. There's still 24 hours for you to go with your girlfriends, have drinks and just catch up and be present and love on each other. Mm -hmm. It's still moments to be present and enjoy your life thoroughly in the, in the, in the season of sacrifice. So whatever that is. I love that because you can I mean, mm-hmm. I think we do think that, like, oh, if I sacrifice, that means there's no fun. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm stressed out. And yeah. it's like, I love how you say you can have a little pocket of time yeah. and where it might not be the trip that you mm-hmm. are, you know, striving for. It might not be yeah. the shoes or whatever that you're striving mm-hmm. for, but just spending time with your girlfriends. Mm-hmm. Like, that could be your, your little moment inside yeah. of the sacrifice that, like, makes it so that you can keep going. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll even say mm-hmm. um, probably really this year. Mm-hmm maybe even last year, was probably the most present that I've been at my children's sporting events. Mm. And my oldest is 13 and my youngest is nine. Mm -hmm. Um, So all these years of doing what I had to do from the event side Mm -hmm. and really taking the time, like being in the business, like Mm -hmm. working the business, um, thinking of other ways to get out of the business mm-hmm. by bringing on staff, mm-hmm. training them, building them. They have events that yeah. I'll be at home looking on Instagram, mm-hmm. watching them work. Yes. You know? yes. um, and so all of that has allowed me now to mm-hmm. like, okay, we're here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the early years, you know, I did have to look at it like the early years. I wanted mm-hmm. to be there for that first game. I yes. wanted to be there for that. But I knew that by the time my child was in eighth grade, um, I didn't expect my nine year old to be playing in the NFL. This well, that's what I call it, the yeah. NFL. They practice uh, every day. Oh, every day Sheesh. they travel. Now he's doing AAU. It's just wow. My nine year old's really into it. Yes. Like, my teenagers, just a teenager. Just and that's a whole nother podcast. Oh, we yeah. talk about the life of, of oh. raising a teenager. Sign me up. Surviving yeah. <laughs> teenagers. Whoa. I, I posted the other day. I said teenagers red flag. <laughs> just like that's just, it. That's it. Just do not recommend. Yeah. Skip over all the way to high school because this is drama. Okay, but my um, what? But what I will say is the fact that I'm now able to fix my schedule so that yeah. I can be at what I need to be yes. at. I do still mm-hmm. kind of miss things here and there, yeah. and they remind me. Mm-hmm. They let me know. Like, oh, you coming to our game? I'm like, I miss one game, <laughs> you know? Uh, but they give me a hard time, yeah. you know, regardless of it. But I think that for me, um, I never really had mom guilt because I yeah. knew that I was not going to stay in that position. Yeah. So, like, I was like, I'm doing what I have to do for now mm-hmm. because when them registration fees for these things... Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, you want to do? Well, well, look, what, this let event. me tell you. You got to be paid this for, event? okay? Listen. Now you can do. So, hey, you know, <laughs> When, when you want them shoes for, mm-hmm. for that sporting thing, I know that I put in over a decade of work mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, to be yeah, able yeah. to get here. Yeah. And so I think That's, for me, yeah. I never let mom guilt was that, has that never has, been a thing. That has me. never That's been my struggle. Never. Oh my god, my kids have never been my struggle. My mother lives with me. Okay, yeah. that you is in home help. So yeah. I have zero mom yeah. guilt. Yeah, me I mean either. there there's been. I think I I miss my oldest pre-K graduation 
that was hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But and then after that, I was like, "Yep, never again." Mm-hmm. You know. And so I knew that was yeah, what set it lesson. off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was, you know, I think yeah. he was about like four at that point. Mm-hmm. So I knew that there was an end date, and that I would be able to be more present, and I would be there at mm-hmm. least for those. You know, the little league is cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. great. But I knew high school, middle school, these are those major yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Um, um, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. I like how um, you were talking about, mm-hmm. but I mean, you kind of both said it, like, the guilt and the, and you know, or the feeling mm-hmm. of inadequacies when you're not meeting all of your, you know, things on your at all or having it all list. And that was a good strategy, knowing that there is an end date. Yeah. You kind of said it yeah. too, there's mm-hmm. an end date. And yeah. so it's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make these sacrifices. I'm going to do these things right now because I know this is not going to always be there, yeah. right? Yeah. But what are some other strategies that, you know, people who are maybe in mom guilt, maybe in, you know, feeling like mm-hmm. one thing, the space, like mm-hmm. and like seeing, I want to be in the beauty industry and seeing all these other people in it. It's mm-hmm. like, well, how am I gonna break in? How like why would somebody want to listen to me? But this is something that I want. This is mm-hmm. on my list. Mm-hmm. So like, what are some like just strategies, some goals, some things that you guys implement that helps you to keep progressing and moving forward? Well, nobody can do what you do and how you do it, Mm -hmm. right? So Mac was already here, right, before Fenty Products. If Rihanna felt like that, I mean, and Brianna's a billion-dollar industry, right? Right. And Mac was here before, right? Got got the whole line. There are, (laughs) for me, I just believe that there are, is enough for mm, everybody. Yeah. How many people are in the world? (laughs) Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's enough. um, So if you're feeling like, if you're feeling like everybody else is in the industry and you you want to go in whatever that industry is, know that there are a lot of there are millions of people in this world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, have a you goal can't to reach the one. Yeah, <laughs> right. Or a hundred, or a hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. it's millions of right. people in so, this world right. in the United That's States of America. Like, That's a good perspective. I mean, really think. Think of it like that. This world is so big. Mm-hmm. There's so many people that have so many different needs. I know I can resonate with 10 people. Right. I know I can resonate with 100 people. I know that I can resonate with 100,000, a million, one day. You yeah, know, I know absolutely. I can do that. So really look at the world is it, it, look at the world for what, what it, it is. is. It's mm-hmm. so many people out here to be reached. Mm. And you can reach. You have something yeah. that 100 people need. Yeah, you have like something that 1,000 people need. Mm-hmm. You have have something that 10,000 people need, mm-hmm. you know? And so everybody is different and what you have, nobody else else can give mm-hmm. it, or, or in the way that you give it, mm-hmm. right? Because yeah. I know uh, influencers online that sell the same product, but one of them sell it for $150 and the other one is selling it for $30. Ooh. But it's the branding, it's how she communicates what this product is. And I'm like, yo, and she's doing it. She sold it. She sold out all the time. Mm-hmm. So um, it's always, you know, that, that that's how I look at it. Yeah, and and in like terms of like mom guilt or guilt period, mm-hmm. like the way that I look at this, because I don't struggle with mom guilt at all. Everybody knows that I believe in self-care and loving my damn self <laughs> and taking some time out for myself. <laughs> Everybody knows that. When you throw a curse don't, word don't. in there, that oh, makes it oh, I'm spicy. Okay. Okay. Like, I care about myself. I care about yeah. my damn self. Okay. 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 And I say this all the time, like, no, like I, I am first in my life. Like, and I, and I know this might not sound okay to other people. Mm. I No, if my son is sick, I'm not going to go get myself medicine and not <laughs> right. him, right? Mm. But, but I put myself first and I pour into myself first and I fill my own cup up because mm. if I'm, if not, I can't love on my two year old, my four year old, my 21 year old, the way that they deserve and mm. need to yeah. be loved on mm-hmm. because my cup is not full. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to love on me yeah. to make sure that my cup is full yeah. so that I can love on you. Yeah. I'm not I, so I believe in putting yourself first in 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 all ways mm. because if you put yourself first it's it's not going to be hard to give anybody else what they need mm. from you mm. that you love. Yes. Right? Yes. That you love. Yeah. I love that. So, yeah. And I'll even say um so coming into the Pilates space. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to say too much about with event planning because when I became an event planner, there was no Instagram, Mm -hmm. you know, Instagram, I think was just maybe kicking off. There was Mm -hmm. just Facebook. So there wasn't a lot of event planning. So I kind of Mm -hmm. feel like I came into a space where it was like, Mm -hmm. 
It was it wasn't that hot. It yeah. was like, mm-hmm. oh, this is now I feel yeah. bad for people coming in now. <laughs> Because I'm like, it's a whole different world out here. Yeah. But um, with Pilates, for me, um, in North Carolina in general, there's there's less than 10 black mm-hmm. Pilates instructors. Um, and then, of course, there's no studios beyond mine at this point. Yeah. So, yes. um, <laughs> so for <laughs> me, so I think proud. the biggest thing mm-hmm. is that though there are studios on every block, yeah. You know, they don't necessarily look like me or mm-hmm. whatnot. Um, and I have several friends and just other people who go to either Pilates or Pilates like, you know, services or studios mm-hmm. or whatnot. And I came into it like there's no studio in this area. Mm-hmm. Um, and even if there was a million studios here, there's always going to be somebody else looking for something new. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and to your point, mm-hmm. there's a I don't know how many people in the world. I don't even know how many people, people is in the world. You know? Um, I don't know either. But question. also just knowing that I'm mm-hmm. walking and I'm being authentic to myself. Like, yeah. I'm not copying anybody. That's I'm right. doing what I feel is good mm-hmm. in my heart. And people will see that. Yes. And they'll flock to that. Yes. So even if it's, you know, if I open it, I wouldn't open a studio right next door to one. Yeah. But the fact that there is one that's less than 10 minutes down the road from mine, yeah. um, and again, Pilates is kind of whitewash, you know, mm-hmm. it is. Um, and, and they have questions and they come and they sign up for classes. I see you mm-hmm. coming in. But anyway, it's a whole nother story. <laughs> um, you know even when they're coming in there, I'm staying authentic to yeah. myself. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that. people see that and they come yes. and you'll still grow and you'll still be whatever it is that your end goal is. But I'm not doing it out of spite. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing it because you know, I want to look better than this other person is genuine. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I think that's the key. That's and right. going in a, you know, flooded market mm-hmm. is if it's genuine, if it's, if it's natural, I mm-hmm. wouldn't say if it's easy. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, 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 nothing yeah. worth having is easy. Not, yeah. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't like that, that, you know, it's not ease going in, so I'm not going to force it. No, you kind of got to force things sometimes. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. you got to put in a little extra yes. work. Because yes. God want to see, do. are you real? Do you really you want really this? Want this. <laughs> okay. Because, <Yeah. laughs> I mean, <laughs> he can't just hand us things because we won't be grateful. Yeah. yeah. You and know, that is so it. true. Exactly. You'll mishandle it. If you yeah. were just give it to you and if yeah. it fell into your lap yes. and if it went perfectly, you wouldn't know. What to do exactly. yeah. Yeah. Now, when you put in all that work, and then if it, if you don't want to live a life of struggle, and I'm not right. saying right. that. <laughs> Girl, that's I do not, not believe saying. in that struggle. Look, you I don't want to live a life of struggle. That you have it all, aka but it's, I'm not struggling. Yeah. 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 But at some point, you should start to feel like, okay, I'm moving in the right direction. Mm-hmm. Or maybe whatever mm-hmm. it is that you're, or, or let's say, for instance, you're going into a flooded market, and you keep seeing other signs of other opportunities. There's nothing wrong with pivoting mm-hmm. yeah. and changing mm-hmm. it to your point doing that to your rebrand because it's like this isn't really working but i still have an audience Mm -hmm. i still have people in this you know i'm i'm tending to get more people who are asking me about this service instead of that service Mm -hmm. so maybe i should add it on or pivot Mm -hmm. i think that's the biggest thing it's just being authentic just truly you know going with the flow of things that works in your direction and not yeah. what everybody else is doing. Exactly. Yeah, and right. I um have it so to just kind of like going back to the authenticity. Mm-hmm. Um I was worried, you know, with the rebrand cuz we are currently for the month of November mobile. Um and I have some temporary locations as the new places get in together. Mm-hmm. And so I have a regular guy who comes in there um in the old space to like get a drip and I just I always tell him you just come here to take naps don't you because he'll get a drip and he'll just like fall asleep and so you know he I, I saw he, he booked before I was able to close off the schedule mm. to let people know and I was like hey you know I'm sorry we yeah. are you know currently mobile but I can still come to you or you can meet me here um he enjoyed that space for that convenience mm-hmm. um but I said and I also have some other IV hydration colleagues and businesses that I could al- always refer you to as well yeah. um and he is just like no let me know when you get back in a new yeah. space because I'm going to come for you. Yeah. Yeah. And I just thought that was...
she was just like, you know, I want to give you your flowers. Why are you here? I'm just eating my salmon. Like, what? And she was like, no. She was like, I have been trying to get into this industry, and I've met up with other people. She was like, but meeting with you and talking to you, yeah. like, I'm, I would rather invest and pay money, even if it's more than the next person, because of mm -hmm. how genuine yes. you are, how authentic mm -hmm. you are, how willing you are to, you know, not gatekeep and yeah. you know just give me the information that I need yeah. um and you know so it's just like those are the types of things that sets you apart from yeah. the next person like I've you know been in the industry two years versus you know someone who has a huger following um more yeah. revenue or whatever it yeah. is that's coming in but like they're choosing me yeah. you know um and so mm -hmm. that just like makes me you know confirm like you're doing what you're supposed to do yes. and that should just also inspire other people wanting to get into an industry that might be saturated yeah. um that one, you're not everybody's cup of tea, mm -hmm. and two, you know, they are not everybody's exactly. Cup of tea. So mm -hmm. you know, you're gonna attract who who comes to you, yeah. um, and it just never be intimidated. You know, Burger yeah. King and McDonald's are always across, across the street from each other. Yeah. Yeah. So we can we can all be together. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 both of them still trust. Right. Yeah. 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 And it's, let me, it's enough oh, out here for everybody. Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. No, nope, and I was just gonna say something about two things. I was gonna say one thing about follow follower social media. I and I am a victim of falling into the trap of mm -hmm. how many followers Good. someone has. Does not equate to that when I number. used to do my women's um, even, conference. That's what I used to be very stuck on having influencers there because I was like, they they're going to help me pay, um, sell out the event. People want to hear from influencers. Mm -hmm. This was 2017. Mm -hmm. Can sell a ticket was it's not all. Not all. I'll take that back. Not all. Some of them, yeah, but for the most part, they couldn't. But then I would just get, like, the hometown heroes. Mm -hmm. And it packed out. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And I, I mean, I, wait, I spent thousands <laughs> upon thousands <laughs> of dollars I'm on influencers. Really? And I'm not saying I'm, I'm not. And let, let, let me say this, and I'll say this to the camera. I'm not saying that influencers are not legit. Mm -hmm. I don't think that they, I, I'm not um, taking away the value that they provide mm -hmm. in the social media mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. But I do think that a lot of times us as entrepreneurs, people who hire mm -hmm. people, people who are inspiring to be mm -hmm. different people, that they feel like followers is a thing. Mm -hmm. And it's really not. And I don't even have 10,000 followers on the page, mm -hmm. on my page. And I get told all the times, like, you put on even we there. You know, yeah. it's or, trustworthy. Or we like come in, trust yeah. You. yeah. Like, it, but I don't have a huge, like at least on my personal, my yeah. business pages do pretty well. But mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. um, I don't have that huge following. Yeah, yeah. You know, I had twelve ladies mm -hmm. over the last two weeks find me on TikTok mm -hmm. and came to the studio. I have yeah. ninety eight people on my TikTok <laughs> page. You know, wow. and and eight of them became members. Yeah. So I'm just like, I think, I think. Maybe when social media first was a thing, the number of the followers, followers was like a thing. Yeah. But now people are like, you're just selling me ads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, you're That's not true. talking to me. Mm -hmm. So people want to actually connect with people. That's true. And so that was one thing. And it was something else she said. I can't remember, so I'm going to let Sharana go. I don't know. <laughs> no, well, that, just, that, yeah. that just hit me in my head yeah, because yeah. I hear so much about followers yeah, yeah. and I don't think I'm going to be good going into this market because I don't have the following. <laughs> now, those big brands will say that to you. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, yeah, they yeah, will. Yeah, yeah. They will. They they have their, their tiers mm -hmm. of the people, you mm -hmm. know, because I've had brands reach out like, can you work on getting your followers up because we want to do a, a campaign with you? I don't want to do campaigns. Mm -hmm. I do not want to be on my page telling you to buy something that I don't even like. Right. <laughs> no, that's you a know, fact. That's I want to tell you to buy stuff that I do. You're yeah, like, yeah. no, nah, if. You know, mm -hmm. Nike called me. Yeah, we're we going to get this page up. <laughs> what you like? You know? yeah. What you like to Nike? You like to Nike. Right. What you need me to yeah. do? Right. But it's like, you know, brands yeah. that I really don't even resonate yeah. with, you yeah. know, that ask those kinds of things. Yeah. So yeah. needless Commu to say, mm -hmm. just yeah. authentic. Yeah. Yeah. Community is better than it's follow better. all day Absolutely. All, all day, day. well yeah. ladies mm -hmm. this has been an amazing okay. conversation yeah, we could yeah, keep yeah. going i would love to I, keep I know. going i was like wait yeah. over i am like ding 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 we have, have we no absolutely not. Gosh. Not, but well, I do. No part two? <laughs> I feel like I would be do the viewers a disservice if i did not ask this question but let's try to keep it a little short okay. yeah. um what happens if you don't get it all mm -hmm. So, uh, I can go and I'll keep it short. Um, what happens when you don't get it all? Mm -hmm. um, nothing. 
<laughs> I feel like just do the next thing that's yeah. on your list or you know if you don't get it if you don't get what it is that you're wanting it wasn't for you Oof. yeah yeah I that's agree. all I agree mm, that's all it wasn't for you I don't agree. do anything I told I think <laughs> um sometimes when I when I don't get something and mm. I'm like I got it in my head it's gonna look like this is gonna be amazing if I get this job if I get this you know person if I get this shoe whatever and it doesn't happen I'm like if I thought this was so great then what is waiting for mm-hmm. me, it has that to be listen. 10 times better than that thing that I mm-hmm. thought that I wanted. So mm-hmm. I totally agree with you on that. Any, any closing thoughts? I will uh, say um, definitely give yourself, I have a 72-hour rule. I have a 72-hour rule that I can be down for those 72 hours about whatever it is that mm-hmm. I did not get as part of my all. And then, I, like she said, I just... Keep it moving. Keep it moving. I, I, I pick back up I and it. I start back over. So I, 72 hours, if I'm going to be sad, if I'm going to eat, mm-hmm. if I ain't going to, whatever it looks like. For me, I just take those 72 hours, I process it, I figure out how I'm going to attack whatever that is again, or I let it go. Yeah. But I try I like not that. to let it weigh yeah. on me. I like okay? that. I yeah. like that. You know, I really don't believe in not getting what you want. Ooh. Right. Hello, I all don't these believe. Different perspectives. All different, yeah. <laughs> no, I that's don't why believe. I like we had to, we had to talk about. Yeah. I don't believe in not having it all. Like whatever, even if I don't get something that perceives of some something that I perceive that I want, maybe I can get it in a different way. Yeah. That same thing, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So I mean, I'll for example, I had a young lady was talking to me about a relationship like that was failing with her. And what, what, well, I asked her what she wanted. So she gave me three things that what she want. I said, no, you didn't, you didn't, you don't have what you don't want. You might not have it in this person, but there's mm-hmm. always another person. Mm-hmm. You can still have this all. If that's your all, you can still have it. So I don't, am I saying that I have gotten every single thing that I wanted, right? I, I may not be saying that, but I, I'm saying that what I want, I, there's still opportunity for me to get mm-hmm. so I can have it all. If it. the business that I wanted didn't work out and it wasn't lucrative, maybe that business was not lucrative and I need to look at another mm-hmm. business idea that can mm-hmm. be lucrative. I, like I can it. have it all. Right. You know? Absolutely. So, you know, so, you know, I didn't have, have my, my two-year-old was a twin. I didn't have a baby. My baby girl passed, right? I don't have her. But you know what? I have all of these princesses and baby girls that my friends have that I can love on. It's, it's just a different way. And it's not over. I mean, I mean, I can probably still have a little girl. Sure. Okay. Yeah. 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 You know, but, but, I, yeah, but that's it. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is I don't believe there's always time. Yeah. There's always opportunity. Mm-hmm. There's always another day. There's always another chance for you to have it all, whatever mm-hmm. that all is. I love okay. it. So that's, that's what I believe. That's beautiful. Can you have it all? Yes, Amazing okay. conversation. Yeah. Thank you, ladies, so much. I, I feel full. Yes. And uh, I'm not full enough. Guys, yeah. I, I know. Full. Here we go again. But, <laughs> I want but Aaron seconds. is looking at me like, get <laughs> off of the set. So I'm going to get off the set. Yes. Bye, y'all. <laughs> For my brothers, never had an ear to hear me. These the bricks for our sisters help us build it. If I could be a black fly on the wall, I can hear and see it all and have the mind of a god. Black, 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 black. Fly, 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 black, black, black.